uh, the issue that we're having is, uh, well, right there, that's where you put the coolant. Sorry for the lighting, it's not the greatest lighting. Um, I let it cool down a little bit. I took off the cap. I honestly believe it's probably just coming up through this cap. It's a vented cap. I just need to get another one. Um, but, uh, just wanted to show you what I'll use to, like, uh, diagnose, uh, to see where it's leaking from. This is, a. Uh, I've got this recently. I had a couple of other little kits. They have, like, uh, if you look in, um, you know, Snap-on, Matco catalog, they got, like, two pages filled of adapters for Universal, for the radiator sets. Uh, this right here, it basically does it all. So you just find the one that fits. And, uh, in this case, this is the one that fits right here. And, uh, I'm trying to get good lighting, sorry. You gotta get it like, uh, I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. You gotta put it like that. Not the other way around. So I'm gonna get this one that fits like that. And this one right here, this one, uh, you could rent. An auto bar store. And this just so happens to fit with that kit right here. So I use this universal adapter kit and I'll tell you what uh, all the different manufacturers all the people who sell this you can get this from uh, Matco you could get it from Snap-on you could get it from uh, Mac Tools I've seen in a couple people's videos they got it from Matco they got it from Mac they got it from Snap-on what have you Anyways, you want to find the one that fits. And in this case, like I have another pressure tester. But I don't have a fitting that will fit on this. And this fits in here perfectly. See, the thing is up. Basically, what you do is uh, you have to hold this and you tighten this. And it blows up right here. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be holding this. I'm going to put it in there and blow it up right there. Get it in there. Cock it sideways. Just kind of cocking it sideways. Now once I get a grip, now it's in there. Plug it in the rest of the way. Now it's in there nice and tight. It's in there. Like that. Now let's get a let's get this adapter. This is what we're gonna use right here out of the kit. Let's move the rest of the stuff out of the way. There's just way too many vehicles to be buying all the different adapters. We spend too much money as it is. These are the other adapters. Get this on Amazon. It costs more, obviously, if you get it from Snap on Mac or Matco. And all they do is they put their sticker on it and charge you more. It's made in the USA. This is the information for it. Part number 950750. This pretty much fits all vehicles. It's a universal. I like universal things. So <clears throat> the issue is uh, I would drive it for about 40, 50 miles and then I would park it and then uh, I would see coolant leaking. 
but I couldn't find out where the coolant was leaking from and you could see you can actually see over there like in some certain areas where it's actually clean the area and uh, uh, there's quite a bit there's probably at least like a liter a liter of two that would uh, be dropping from the the vehicle and that's a concern obviously on any vehicle oh. So what I want to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pressurize this system, and this says uh, sixteen, sixteen pounds. We're going to try to pressurize it to about sixteen pounds. But uh, you know, it's uh, I'm trying to let you guys know about like uh, the things that I'm using. This is one of the things I'm not going to purchase every different adapter there is I'm gonna get the universal adapter kit and uh let's see what we got like I said I'm sorry about the uh the lighting A second. Now we got it. There. There you go. There you go. Now it's in there. It's my bad. Or it's loose like that you gotta set it you gotta tighten it it pulls it up you gotta tighten this it pulls this up and then you tighten this and then you let it go and it slams it down pressurizes it anyways let's uh let me see we got a uh, We got the first one says 4 psi cap. You can also test the cap. 7 psi is the green cap. 9 to 11 psi is the cap. 13 to 14 cap. So we'll try to get in the blue, maybe maybe the yellow. So let's see what happens. See if we can find a leak. holding pressure so holding the pressure <laughs> like I said guys I'm sorry about the lighting man we're gonna hold it we're gonna hold it right there where it says uh, it's right about 15 to 16 the, the yellow I want to make sure it's not dropping and it's not dropping it's right about in the middle of it it is dropping a little bit actually get one more pump and, uh, let me take you over there I'm real sorry about the lighting guys 
I got multiple vehicles. We're, we're just looking for a leak. You want to look in the obvious areas. I'm just looking for water. Squirting out. Sometimes it's real obvious. That was from me earlier, I believe. You want to look around the radiator connections for sure I honestly think I think it's just I need to replace the radiator cap I think the radiator caps just blowing off because I'm not seeing a lot of because the leak would be coming from over here Not seeing anything. Slowly going down. Four PSI cap, seven PSI cap, nine to seventeen, thirteen to fourteen, fifteen to sixteen. Caution thirty PSI system only. Looks like we got small loss. It loses from fifteen, sixteen goes to 14 then it stays there I think honestly all we got to do is a thermostat it's a good idea we'll, ch we'll change the thermostat and then uh, what we'll do is um see the thing is if there is a real major leak this is like a once in a while thing I'll drive it for days and days and days and I'll have no symptoms, nothing, but once in a while I'll park and I'll notice. But if you had like a hole, like right now, if you had a pinhole in this uh, radiator hose, you would see it right now. So, you know, that's what this tool is for, to show you the real major obvious leaks. I'm going to replace the, uh, I'm going to replace the, uh, the cap. <clears throat> and then um, I'll replace these gaskets right here. Put a new uh, thermostat, and uh, that should take care of any problems we have. It's holding. It's holding. We're probably just losing a little bit of pressure through here, and then right here, this is gonna uh, this is gonna relieve pressure. This is gonna relieve pressure. I'm sorry guys, but you know, this is real life, real deal stuff I do, man. You know what I mean? It's not staged. It's just real life things I deal with, real life things I do. Turn it to the right, it relieves it. Once it relieves it, just leave it here. And then you can unscrew it like this. And it'll come off just like that. this off right here unscrew it see in my other kit I had another kit but I could find nothing that would fit in here the only thing that's gonna fit in there is that uh that rubber that rubber that you see that's in this uh, universal kit it goes in there then it expands so in other words it basically fits every single your make model in any vehicle fits inside here 
and then it tightens up. So, uh, uh, it's a good kit. Definitely a good kit to have. You'll, like I said, you'll notice, and um, you will notice in like a Snap On or or a Matco or a um, Mac tool catalog they'll have like two pages dedicated just to adapters for these cooling systems and you can just get that one kit from Redline and that's literally going to take care of every single thing that you need and then just get yourself a nice little uh, uh, pressure tester right here for like 80 bucks so for under 200 bucks you can pressure test every vehicle and you could use this pressure testing method for like uh, checking the uh, leaks into the cylinder head it's really valuable because you know uh, if you have a blown cylinder head it's gonna help to check that out you take out the spark plugs you pressurize it see if you're losing pressure if it's dropping it'll drop the water into the uh, into the spark plugs into the cylinder head you know you have a blown get head gasket uh, this this thing is real valuable it's just real valuable for trying to diagnose a lot of different things you know anyways uh, sorry for the lighting thanks for watching go ahead comment uh, and subscribe um, like I said you can get that universal kit the red line for like less than 100 bucks and then when you want to use this kit if you're just a do-it-yourself or when you want to use this kit right here you can rent it from your local auto parts store so you don't have to buy both of them just uh, go ahead and get that red line and it covers all the different adapters Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.